Hey guys, all right, so here's the Dodge Enclosure. Now this is a convoluted little monster. Um, these are uh, what we call uh, pocket screws, okay? So what they do is they, they screw in like this, and uh, it's made by a system called Craig, and I love the hell out of them for doing stuff like this. Now what I'm doing is, is that I have to vinyl wrap everything internally, and then I have to build the box. So that means that everything has to be able to unscrew. So, but then I have to screw it together and then perfectly bond it. So what I've done here is, is that uh, you can see here, you see this gap right here? Well, actually what that is, is that's a rabbit. Uh, and so on this side here, you know, you can see that there's no gap, but on this side, there is a gap. And what that is, is that's for vinyl. So that I can vinyl this panel and this panel, wrap the vinyl over it. Right, and then that way I can have a very smooth, clean cut. Same thing will happen down in like in this area here. This is the uh, port areas. This this whole this whole area is the port. Uh, I'll show it to you on the bottom. But and then forward, I, I just put a simple uh, main plate here. Uh, this is for vibrational because up here in the front nose of this, she wants to she wants to resonate real bad back here uh, in the. The second enclosure, not much. Now you look at it and you're like, well, Matt, why did you make an amp rack in a box altogether? Well, actually, what it is is that this is actually volume. So fiberglass and tubs, right? Built a whole piece on top. And then you can see this is the entrance, you know, to down in there. So the, this box volume is two cubic feet. And this box volume is two cubic feet. And you can see here, this is the port for this sub. And then that's the port for this sub. And they both exit, I don't know if you can see this, but underneath the bottom here, uh, in between the two seats. And this this area here is about, say, two, about three inches. Okay, so we've got plenty of room for it and everything. So here will be amp racks. So this will be an amp rack. Uh, this area will here be power distribution. Uh, and then another amp over there. So we've got a four channel and a monoblock uh, running on this, and then I've got a pair of DD3012 uh, uh, Bs, is what they call it. Now, DD calls these things SQ drivers, and I, I would call it in DD's universe, that's what they think they are. They're pretty damn good. I mean, they, they, the subwoofers will work real well. They actually made a comment to another customer that they didn't think that the 3012 you know, would work for him, and I'm thinking, because the customer's asking me, and I told him which driver to get, and I, I think that the 3012, in terms of an SQL driver, uh, outclasses the 9500, okay, any day of the week, I mean, you know, I'm sorry, a 9500 is overkill on every level, so I, I, I opted to go with a 3012, I'd do this, uh, these areas here, these are windows, obviously, uh, and you can see I've already gone and rabbited them out, uh, so that I can insert the plexiglass into here. Uh, they'll be inserted here, plus also there'll be LEDs uh, going around the perimeter. All I have left to do is to cut the, the tracks, you know, for the wiring and everything down through and out the bottom. The other thing I got to figure out is because DD doesn't use conventional terminals, they uh, have speaker wire, <coughs> power wire actually, coming off of their woofers. And in this case, I kind of really wish they had let me like a ton of it, but they didn't. So I'm going to have to internally figure something out uh, in terms of how I'm going to one run wire. Because, you know, it's like you get this and it's going to be, oh, and this is going to be all white inside here. Uh, because we will have, you know, lights, you know, lighting and everything inside here. So, but anyway, I just wanted to get you guys up to date uh, with this uh, Dodge build. And uh, this is where I'm at right now. So you can, you know, it is it is a monster. You know, a lot of people like to build boxes. I like to build little masterpieces, <laughs> apparently. So, but yeah, this is a uh, pretty slick. Oh, the, this will have a cover going here. There's plexiglass, you know, going on here uh, where the amp's going to sit down. So you see an edge right here and stuff. So, and I may mimic that up here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet in terms of total lighting because I do need to get some lighting on in here and I could do it underneath, you know, a couple of simple lights up here and just shine them, you know, downwards, you know, on there. But I'll, I'll figure that out in a little bit. So, but anyway, I just want to get you guys up to date with this Dodge build. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.